Well, good morning, everyone. I want to uh, thank everyone for being here bright and early this morning as we begin our first Judiciary Non-Civil of the Biennium uh, Committee meeting of the House. Um, as we get started this morning, um, I was wondering if Chairman Setzler would be willing to lead us in our invocation. Dear Heavenly Father, we just we love you so much. Lord, you're the giver of all good things, and Lord, you're, you are the very voice of truth and justice and peace. I pray that, Lord well, God, we would have that in our hearts today and this year, and that all things we would glorify you in what we do. We pray this in your name. Amen. Amen. Well, I want to thank everyone for being here today. I know we all have very, a very busy session days as we uh, are doing the people's business here at the Capitol. And I know with our early meetings, we'll be able to hopefully all be here, know a time on Tuesdays that we can rely upon as workload increases. We'll probably add an additional day during the week. Where we'll meet at 8 a.m., try to move bills through. Of course, uh, all uh, best plans sometimes have to be thrown by the wayside, depending on what happens. But uh, the best part of that is, I know as somebody who was always, as a sponsor of legislation, bringing committee substitutes five minutes before the committee meeting, uh, there'll be time to plan for that, at least uh, the night before, and get ready. What I'd ask at this time is that we just go around the table here, and uh, we have all the members introduce themselves, tell a little bit about their district, where they're from, and, and uh, anything else that they want to say. So, um, Pam, if I can start with you, which number are you? Good morning. <clears throat> I'm Representative Pam Dickerson, and I represent House District 113, which is in Rockdale in Newton County. And glad to be here, and glad to have Representative Devastration as our new chairman. Thank you. Thank you, Representative Gravely. Thank you, uh, Micah Gravely, South Paulding County, West Douglas County. Um, I, this is one of my favorite committees uh, because it's one of the most hardworking committees. So, uh, Mr. Chairman, I appreciate your leadership on this. Look forward to working with you. Well, thank you for serving as an officer on the committee. So, um, why don't you introduce yourself as well? Uh, I'm Matt Wasatoski. I'm committee staff for this uh, uh, Judiciary Non Civil and Regulated Industries and Juvenile Justice. Um, I look forward to uh, another good session, putting out some good bills. All right, Chairman Setzler. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Ed Setzler from Ackworth, uh, Northwest Cobb County. Uh, proud to come from the land of our new GBI director-elect, um, Vic Reynolds, good friend, uh, who I think represents the same view of justice that I do, which is all about balance. That's what this committee is about, is balance and uh, trying to get at truth. And uh, humbled to have served here and look forward to serve under this great chairman. Thank you. Whip Bodie. Uh, Representative William Bode, House District 62, South Fulton in Douglas County. Uh, it's just a pleasure to serve uh, on this committee. Uh, like my good friend over there, the Vice Chairman, I uh, stated earlier, uh, Michael Grab, this is one of the hard, hardest working committees, and it's just a pleasure uh, to serve and look forward to your leadership, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Representative McLaurin. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, my name is Josh McLaurin. Uh, I represent House District 51, uh, which was previously occupied by Chairman Willard. So big shoes to fill. And um, I, this was my top choice committee, so I'm really grateful to the speaker and to you, Mr. Chairman, uh, for the opportunity to serve. So thank you very much. Honored to have you. And Hanifa, would you be willing to just step forward and introduce yourself? I think it's number five is yours. Hi, good morning. My name is Hanifa Saleem. I'm Chairman of Stration's Administrative Assistant, and I worked with him when he was a floor leader, so I'm very proud of him that he's a chairman now. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe shocked more than anyone that I'm here. <laughs> well, uh, such an honor to be here with everyone today. Just a couple of uh, basic things I wanted to mention to the committee, just as far as process, if we can get some uh, work out some of the process elements as we get started. I think that will help to streamline things. So first of all, we're maintaining our subcommittee chairs from last session. So you can expect Chairman Setzler and Chairman Reeves to continue our subcommittees. It will not be specific to subject matter. And so it just depends on workload. That'll really be it, depending on where bills flow. But we want to make sure that we keep, um, keep things running very smoothly so that we can get legislation uh, moved through and 
I expect that as we have work, we'll meet at 8 a.m. sharp on Tuesdays. If uh, there isn't work, then you'll know ahead of time um, about that. I know Representative Kendrick had a call for, we all also wear another hat with uh, in the private sector. So uh, Representative Kendrick, we just went around the table to introduce ourselves. Would you be willing to say a few things? Uh, yes, um, I'm Representative Kendrick representing the great 93rd House District, which is East DeKalb and South Gwinnett going into uh, my fifth term, and uh, like you mentioned, I, even though I don't practice criminal law, I am an attorney, so I spend a lot of time on the phone booking deals. <laughs> <laughs> we all have our other jobs as well. Uh, speaking of, I know Vice Chairman Reeves couldn't be here this morning because he's in court, so uh, we, we all have our commitments, and I completely understand that. I know everyone's been very patient with me in the past as well in that regard. Um, the... Uh, if members have bills that they would like to be considered, we just have a form that's in my office, 131. If the sponsor or co-sponsor will just fill out the form and sign it, we'll know that uh, we need to look at it for potential hearing. And uh, certainly I have an open door policy. If any member or any advocate wants to meet or discuss any issue, I'm happy to meet with you at any time. Uh, we have such outstanding advocates here at the Capitol that I've had a chance to work with in the past. So. Uh, I think uh, you all know that um, I as chair and, and the members of this committee are willing and, and interested to meet with you. And a lot of times great work can be done offline. If we need, if we have an issue with language and you've seen something that needs to be addressed, then I'd encourage you to bring that to a member's attention um, as, you know, as early as possible in the process would be very helpful. The, um, at this point in time, the important thing for us to do is to consider the rules, which are in the folders, members, and our continuation of the existing rules from last year. So um, if there are no questions, I'll entertain a motion on that. There's a motion due pass from Chairman Setzler and a second, second from Representative Gravely. Any other discussion? All right. All those in favor of adopting the rules, please say aye. Any opposed? All right, and the ayes have it. So the rules are adopted for this year. All right, does any member have any uh, comment or information they'd like to give for the good of the committee today? All right, well, I really uh, appreciate everyone being here this morning. I think you're going to see we're going to really try to efficiently take care of our business in this committee this year. We'll get right to the, the point. I've talked a little too much today, probably taking up too much time, but... Um, but really appreciate everyone being here and um, uh, look forward to working with you this session. So thank you very much. We're adjourned. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>